Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007 and today we're looking at the Lucky Treasure plugin. Now this is a really cool plugin which will have random spawns of loot crates such as these down here and then you can find goodies within them. You can customize it in a GUI which is really easy and simple to do but we are going to jump straight into it. So all you need to do as a player is just explore the world and you might find one of these boxes. Now the color depends on the rarity of course so these white ones are just common ones. If you right click it, it's going to explode. There'll be a cool firework and then you will get a certain amount of items depending on which one you open. So let's get rid of all of these. Let's open the other common one and we got some arrows and leather from that. Not particularly great. And then the red one, this is a better treasure and we actually got some pretty good stuff out of that, um, which you can see. So by default, there's I think five ones that have been made. So if you do four slash TR help, you can see these are all the commands. And if you look at all the uh, chats previously, you can see common treasure has been found in survival world. It'll be gone in 20 minutes. Treasure is near and it gives you the X and Z coordinates uh, just to help players be in the right area to find it. So the first thing we can do is four slash TR and then GY. So this is going to open up the GUI with all the different treasure chests in and as you can see there are a variety so this is the common one you can see the XP and the chance we've got normal we've got better mystery and then test I created this myself so you can see on each of these you can left click to open you can middle click to rename and you can shift right click to remove so I'm going to shift right click to remove this one I created earlier it wasn't very good and then if we go down here we can actually create a brand new one so that's created a custom one, as you can see, 0 XP, 50% chance, this is default. The first thing we can do is middle click, and this is how we rename it. We can use color codes and make it nice and jazzy. So I'm just going to call it Server Miner. There we go, and if we have a look, it is Server Miner in gold and bold. Now if we left click, we can go inside of it and actually edit it. So what we want to do is get rid of this diamond, don't want that. I'm going to pop in a gold sword and as you can see it immediately spawns with a 50% chance and either 100 or 300 or anything in between gold swords. Obviously that's ridiculous, you don't want that, so if you hit middle click we can edit the quantity. So the lower set is 1 and then the upper set let's go with 2. So for that you can either have 1 or 2 gold swords spawn for this and let's put the diamond sword in, give it a second and we are going to edit this one as well. So let's do 12 and 22 for example. So you can get up to 22 diamond swords which is pretty crazy. The next thing we can do is left click to edit the chance so by default it's 50%. Um, so if you want 20% put a decimal place and then a 2 like so and that will give it 20%. If you actually write 20, like so, that is going to be 2000%, which obviously is ridiculous and you don't want that. So be careful with these numbers. Uh, so I'm going to put 0.6 uh, for 60% chance and then 20% is 0.2. And then what you can do down here, the treasure settings, you can left click to edit the chance. So what chance do you want uh, it to spawn? So you could do, I don't know, 50%, so 0.5. And if we have a look here, we will get 50% ch chance for this to drop compared to the other ones. So let's go ahead and spawn one of these to show you what it's like. So if you do 4 slash TR help again, you can see that we want to do the TR test uh, command. So TR test, put your world name, which is world, and then you want to put um, either your X, Y, and Z coordinates or just hit enter. If you hit enter, it's going to spawn randomly very, very far away and it might be difficult to find. So if you hit F3, that will bring up your coordinates. So let's put minus uh, 246, 64, and then minus 157. And then you want the type of chest. Do you want a rare one? Do you want a better one? Or do you just want it to spawn a random one? Like so. And then that is going to spawn one right beneath me. And all of these are common because there's such a high chance. There is a normal. So if we right click this, we got a ton of goodies from that. That's, uh, that's pretty decent. So that's how you would set it up in-game, very easy. GUI is super easy to use, and let's head over to the config and see what we can do in there. So here we are in the s and control panel, and as you can see, there are four YML files. Data and message, you don't really need to edit. You can look in the treasure.yml, but this is going to be everything we set in-game with all the different items and the chances and the quantities. And then the config is where you want to make any edits. So we've got the world, so that's just world normal. Do you want to disable random treasure that spawns after the timer? 
we have the enabled world, so make sure your main world's there. And then if we scroll down, we've got the max treasure. So the max treasure in one week, do you want there to be tons of it or just very, very rare? Scroll down, we've got the treasure timer up and lower. So how often uh, the treasure is gonna spawn. Then we've got the max range of the treasure. So it can spawn up to 30,000 blocks away, which is really, really far. You might want to lower that. And then we've got the range. So how close when it tells a player there's treasure about how close is it going to be so within 30 and then the treasure timer it will last for 20 minutes and if you scroll down do you want people to earn xp from it and have a particle effect yes or no if you head over to the spigot page you can see it is updated for 1.12 to 1.17 it is really well made you've got some pretty cool gifts here and then down below you've got the commands and the permissions so if you have any trouble you can contact the developer on discord but it is a really nice plugin. Download it here. And then if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.